But there's another aspect to our quantum understanding. Do you understand right now the importance of your beliefs and your power of choice? Thinking for yourself, evaluating for yourself, coming to your own conclusions, being an evidence-based thinker. You will be changed. You can do it actively. You can be a passive pawn and go along with somebody you've trusted and let them tell you the answers and you just accept them. You'll be changed by that too. But there's another aspect to our quantum understanding of our being. We not only have the ability with our physical bodies to impact other people, such as a surgeon suturing a wound, a, a setting a broken bone, a therapist stretching a limb, a, a, or giving a massage, physically using our physical bodies to interact with somebody else's body, affecting them. We can do that. That's the physics of big things. But we can also affect people on the quantum level. See, we can directly use our physical abilities to impact another person and bring healing. And we can do this without involving God directly. An atheist surgeon who denies God can still take out an inflamed appendix and save a person's life. Can still reduce a joint and put it back in place. And healing will take place even though the surgeon denies God because... God's laws are design laws, and the laws of health are still in operation. And God is still s sustaining his universe to operate as he's designed it. And as you move a person in harmony with his design, healing takes place. It's built into the system as God designed it. And so people don't have to acknowledge God to use their own abilities to align with the principles of God. Everybody with me so far? Because we're going to get to prayer here, intercessory prayer. Uh, and we're talking about the physics of big things. That's Newtonian physics, Isaac Newton, laws of, of motion and friction and so forth, the physics of big things, using our body. This is the physics of brain circuits and brain neurotransmitters, the chemicals the brain makes, okay? The physics of big things. We talked earlier about the physics of the small things, the quantum electron clouds. Newton's thinking focused simply on the physical aspects of interacting, like we just talked about surgically or otherwise, but Newton's understanding of the universe does not account for or explain consciousness. That's the physics of the small things, your quantum computer. Or freedom of choice. Or flocks of birds and schools of fish turning instantaneously in unison. That's quantum linkages. They're all linked with a quantum connection. Human intuition. The sudden awareness of a loved one in danger at a distance from you. That's a quantum connection. Newtonian physics did not explain it. God is the God who built the big things that Newton described, but he's also the God who built the infinitely small things, the quantum stuff. Quantum, in quantum physics, matter is both a particle with mass and... Uh, that, that, op that, that exists in a, in a point in space-time. It exists at a particular place in space-time. But it's also a wave that moves and extends through space and time. Kind of mind-boggling, isn't it? Quantum understanding has led to ideas such as entanglement. Everything in the universe, everything in the universe is connected on these quantum linkages. And the observer effect and string theory. Observer effect is matter exists both as mass and wave with spin and vibration, oscillates and spins, but it remains in a state of uncertainty until interacted with by the observer. The act of measuring, observing, interacting, choosing causes matter in its uncertainty to conform. We have just talked about that in your electron clouds. This gives a scientific basis for the freedom of choice. You have freedom to choose. And that our choices do actually change us and the world around us. Things alter, we can alter outcomes by our choices. We are not merely programmed or fated. This idea of fate, that was my fate. That's not godly. You have power of choice. Or predetermined by some external force that you have no power over. It's not godly. You have the power of choice.
String theory states that everything in the universe is connected by infinitesimally small strings. This idea teaches that particles separated by physical space are still connected by these strings and entangled and therefore can impact and affect each other through distance. Now listen to this quotation. I, I use the term 19th century sage named Ellen White. <laughs> wrote the following. She was one of the founders of the SDA Church in uh, Evangelism. You can find Evangelism, page 93. Uh, she wrote this years before physicists uh, understood quantum mechanics. <laughs> a century before. Okay. It is God's plan that every part of his government shall depend on every other part. The whole as a wheel within a wheel working with entire harmony. He moves upon human forces causing his spirit, now get this, to touch invisible cords and the vibration rings to the extremity of the universe. That's strings. That's quantum strings. They vibrate and they reach through the entire universe touching everything. That's brilliant. That's exactly quantum mechanics. This raises questions for us today about our conscious intent. Can you you, you consciously and purposely, you can affect things with your physical body. We just talked about that. Did you realize you can affect things with your conscious intention? Researchers placed placental DNA in test tubes and instructed participants to generate emotions of love and goodwill and then focus their intention. Once they've generated love and goodwill, focus their intention on causing the DNA in those, on those test tubes to wind closer and tighter down. This can actually be measured by the absorption of ultraviolet light. The tighter they are, the more ultraviolet light it absorbs, and they can measure that. What they found is when they focused love and goodwill with purposeful intent on the DNA to conform, confirmation change, it changed by 25%, 25% measurable change. When the uh, uh, tubes in the DNA um, were uh, in the room and the participants generated love and goodwill, but no intention, no confirmation change. When they focused the intention to change, but no love and goodwill, no confirmation change. They required both the generating of love and goodwill and purposeful choice or intention to get the outcome. Now, they wanted to know if this is just a general, you know, your brain is an electro bi bioelectrical organ. It, it creates an electromagnetic field that can be measured with EEGs. And so, well, is this just a general electromagnetic field that's kind of a general field that's going out in the environment? Or is this really specific by the conscious choices? So they had three test tubes lined up together uh, on a counter, and they had them generate love and goodwill and focus their conscious intention on the DNA in two of the test tubes con uh, winding tighter, but not the third. And that's what happened. Two of them had the change, 25% absorption of light more. The third one didn't change at all. Then in five separate studies, they did the same thing, but they had the test tubes moved a half a mile away into another building, and they had them at a particular time generate love and goodwill and focus on causing the DNA to wind tighter, and half a mile away it did every time. This study would indicate that we can not only impact other people or things around us with, in the large ways, but we can also interact with the small ways. But we can only, now this is important, we can only impact when we're generating the emotion of love and good world, will and purposeful intention. If we have negative emotions, if we're hostile, if we're hate-filled, we pray for injury, we cast spells, we, we do incantations, uh, we do voodoo dolls to cause harm on people, the study would indicate that it would have no power and no ability to cause harm. This makes perfect sense when you understand that God is love. And God created the universe, and those quantum strings are sustained by God and his character, and they only activate with love. love. Isn't that phenomenal? Wendell.